I'm completing every mainline Yakuza game in chronological order and will tell you about the experience. We're also going over the achievement and the completion list so you can complete them as well. We're aiming for YouTube partner at the end of the year. So subscribing to the channel to get our first 1000 subscribers would help a lot. Here we are again. Today we're going over the achievements for Yakuza Kiwami. The video for the entire completion list will follow quickly. So definitely keep an eye on the channel for this as I will cover everything with tips and tricks. I've divided this video into chapters. So if you're looking for something specific, check out the description. If you need any further help, feel free to join our Discord. Let's get into it. First we'll go over the story achievements. But to avoid spoilers, we won't go into them further. When you don't pay your debts. Things will never be the same. Turmoil in the Tojo clan. Funeral for the old ways. Mother and child. The price of life. Sins of the father. The dragon and the koi. Puppet masters. A man's conviction. The dragon roars. Ashes to ashes. Legends never die. Thank you. Alright, so next up are the easy achievements which we will go over quickly. First up, there are a few hidden achievements related to certain sub-stories. None of these are particularly difficult and will unlock automatically as you're aiming to complete every sub-story anyway. An answer owed, a bad business, she's worth it, sonic right hook, kidney stones, that's a man, you'll only get burned. Next up, we have a few achievements that are related to hostesses. You need to get to the highest level with every hostess and complete their substory. So we need to do this in order to complete every substory. During one of your dates with a hostess, make sure to go to the Mahjong parlor. You don't have to win and the achievement Sexy Ron will pop once you're finished. Goromi the hostess, Rina the hostess, Yui the hostess, Sexy Ron, can I call you? And finally, in easy, we have what a player. Nothing serious, you have to play every minigame anyway, so this will pop automatically. Alright, we're already at medium. As you're playing through Yakuza Kiwami, it becomes very clear how much of Majima you'll see. He's basically the Mr. Shakedown of this game. We are required to level up our Majima Everywhere stat, to unlock strong skills and eventually a very strong weapon, which will make the Amon fight a cakewalk. We need to find every Yakuza Zero form of Majima, and for the following achievements, his form depends on where you encounter him. Break it down. Breaker Majima forced his way into a fight at the east end of Shichifuku Street and at the southeast of Theater Square in front of the theater itself. Let's fight. Thug Majima forced his way into a fight. In front of the Tenkai Chipopo, there's a man in a tan jacket and north of the Todo building in Shichifuku Street. Swing for the fences. Slugger Majima forced his way into a fight. Southwest of the southern entrance of to the Champion District. And in front of the Children's Park. Are you having fun yet? Just outside of the Millennium Tower, go in and out of Teihei Akushimaru to get this to happen. A man in a black jacket with sunglasses. And east of the Makbol entrance. The following achievements are related to Majima surprising you at specific locations. So for Majima from below, he pops up out of a nearby manhole. In the Champion District just west of the square lot, on Tenkaichi Street near the Kazama family office, or in the Hotel District near the taxi stand, Majima from above. He will hop down from a location above at uh, Pink Street midway between the Southern Gate and Shine. Majima of the end. So zombie Majima, yes I know, this is, this is really a thing. He's shuffling around with grey skin and a blue aura, but he won't appear until rank C of Majima everywhere. He, he can just be everywhere, literally, everywhere. Majima on the beat. Uh, he can also wear a police uniform with a yellow aura. He will unlock automatically when he spots and fight you, so any rank availability. Kiryu-chan, uh, just get chased by him. If he spots you and he will run up to you, um, that's when the achievement will pop. And it's not over yet when you reach rank B and Majima everywhere. You need to reach rank triple S anyway, so you'll get this one automatically. Throne of the Mezu King. 
Oh yes, the half-naked lady from JCC are back, but now they're bugs. Luckily, this version isn't as bad as the JCC minigame and just require you to beat the Mesu King storyline. You'll find Mesu King cards all over the city, and once you have a 180 or 200 power card, you should be able to beat anyone, even if you lose a few times. Hand in hand, this is going to be the longest kilometer in the world. Hold Haruka's hand and keep walking through the city. It's cumulative, so don't worry if you lose your hand sometimes. The Pocket of Pocket Circuit Reborn! Pocket Circuit is back and it's quite similar to the Yakuza one. Get better items, upgrade your car and win. Follow the settings in the description if you need assistance. Tell me a story, hero of the story. There are a total of 78 substories in Kiwami, so 10 and 30 aren't a lot. Half the battle, complete 50% of the completion list. 50 schmifty, you'll tackle this easily, especially when tackling all the food and drinks checks. Take back those 10 years. Yeah, it's pretty easily obtained. You'll get XP from everything. Hard! Alright, here we go. Uh, these will take up the most of your time. And we're gonna start with Mr. Master. So Haruka being adopted by you isn't worth enough of her love. So you have to spend a lot of time with her in the city to win her love for you. Most of these are go eat here and order this. But others require you to play a minigame and win by a certain amount. In total there are 37 requests and you need to do them all. Most of those aren't that difficult aside from a few. Uh, request 34, pull. You need to beat an expert opponent in rotation. The expert opponent can be unfairly strong. Quest 35, get 950 points in Auto Metal My Life. This requires near perfection execution, so be ready to slap Haruka a few times out of frustration of this request. Seriously, these suck. The strongest fighter. The highest two tournaments can be real grindfests, as you barely do damage and many of your enemies are absolute walls in blocking. As you have to grind the tournament a lot of times for other completion parts, mainly to learn all of your skills, I recommend switching your difficulty to easy to speed this process up. Do this in Premium Adventure, of course. Kamaki Style Master. This is one of the reasons why I recommend changing your difficulty to easy to speed things up. Kamaki requests multiple Colosseum items to teach you new skills. Mainly Tiger Drop is important and will help you clear the game much much faster. This attack is insane. Dragon of Legend. Like Yakuza 0, it's fairly easy except for Chapter 9. And it will be very clear why. You have a very large battle scenario which is immediately followed up with a chase scene. Fail any part of this and you have to start the entire chapter over. Mainly the chase section is brutal as being hit 4-5 to five times means a game over. You cannot save in between these sections so you have to do it in one go. Good luck buddy, story of my life. As I said there are 76 sub stories. Make sure you check out the city at day and night as some sub stories only trigger at those hours. Furthermore don't forget the sub stories for the hostesses and Komaki. The Dragon of Dojima returns. Once your Majima Everywhere rank is triple S and you've fought every form of him multiple times, you get all the special skills and this will unlock. I'm undefeated. The man, the myth, the legend is back. By the time you fight him, you should have Majima's knife unlocked. This weapon will absolutely shred Amon. Keep stabbing him and use your heat action to control him. It's a very easy fight. Master of Body and Soul. Not as bad as XP will be given indefinitely, it'll just take time to get all the XP required. Perfectionist. The big one. We're going to cover this in the next video like we did in Yakuza 0. Stay tuned and subscribe for it. Death by Climax. Luckily the Climax battles are a bit easier than the Yakuza 0 one. Mainly because of Tiger Drop. Whenever you're strong Kiryu, you can just Tiger Drop everyone to death. Other Climax battles that require attention are... Proving Ground 9. Focus on the guys targeting the beetle. Know that if you clear enemies ahead of time, you'll have a better breeding space to beat this. Do this fight in your dragon style as using heat actions will heal you. Trust me, you're gonna need it. Furthermore, Tiger Drop is your friend. Melee battles 10. This one is absolute bullcrap. Kashiwagi will 
absolutely wipe the floor with you if you try to fight him hand to hand. So save your heat from the first battle and heat action him with a chair at the start. Calmly build up your heat and repeat. You need to have enough health to make it to the end because Sarah will punish any mistake you'll make. Once you're here, go into your rush style. Build up your heat with any of the random enemies, pick up a lantern and heat Sarah. Repeat this. And remember, do not attack him head on. You will lose. Get with me. Obtain all other achievements. You're done. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. So this is my second game I completed in the Yakuza franchise and Yakuza and Yakuza Kiyomi 1 was a lot easier compared to Yakuza 0 to complete. We still have to go through the completion list and there are a few wonky things in there that we have to cover. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.